We're about to dive into some big time Giants draft rumors surrounding the quarterback position. So I just want to get a little bit of a pulse from all of the real ones out there. If you want the Giants to draft a quarterback this year, hit that thumbs up icon. Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. Appreciate everybody for taking time out of their busy schedule to rock and roll with us as we go over the latest Giants news and rumors. And we're talking about the 2024 NFL Draft on today's video because Jordan Renan, beat reporter for ESPN, went on the Michael K Show and he had some pretty interesting things to say about if the Giants are going to draft a quarterback this upcoming year. We'll dive into those quotes coming up in a second, but I kind of want to set the stage by taking a look at the current draft order as we head into week 17. You got the Bears at number one via the Carolina Panthers due to that trade last year. Then you got the Arizona Cardinals as well as the Commanders sitting at two and three. You got the New England Patriots at four. Commanders and Patriots both sitting at four wins. You got the Giants at five and ten sitting at pick five. And then you also got the Chargers and Titans also sitting at five and ten. And the Bears, Jets, and Falcons round out the top 10. Right now, according to ESPN, the New York Giants have a 72.8% chance of being inside the top five when the NFL draft rolls along. Obviously, you got the Los Angeles Rams this week and the Philadelphia Eagles next week. The Giants are going to be underdogs in both of those games, and I honestly don't expect them to win either of those games. So if the Giants do lose and you're trying to move up the draft board, you either need the Patriots or the Commanders to lose one game. And the Patriots, or excuse me, win one game. The Patriots, they play at the Buffalo Bills in Week 17, and then against the New York Jets in Week 18. Hopefully the Patriots can beat the Jets in that game. For the Commanders, I don't see them beating the San Francisco 49ers or the Dallas Cowboys. So let's hope the Patriots beat the Jets in Week 18. Giants lose out if you're in that boat. That would move you up to pick four. Real Jimmy T did some uh, transcribing of the quotes from Jordan Renan on Twitter. And he, this was what Renan said. This team is not going to shy away from taking a QB if the opportunity arises for a guy that they like. He also said, if the Bears and Cardinals are the two teams picking at one and two, and one or two are looking to trade their picks, I don't think it's out of the question that the Giants will look to move up. So not only is Renan saying, and I'm not going to take this as a report from Renan, more so as what he thinks and what he feels, and I believe that he's heard a couple of things, and that's why he's going out on a limb and saying them, but he's talking about the Giants aren't going to be afraid to draft a quarterback, and they won't be afraid to trade up. Why? Because the Giants have draft capital to move up. You have the fifth overall pick as it currently stands. You have the 39th pick in the draft, but you also have the Seattle Seahawks second round pick. You have four picks right now inside the top 70. You have all your picks next year when it comes to the premium picks, so you can move up. And it's much easier to move up in the NFL draft when you're already sitting at pick four or pick five. It's not going to cost nearly as much as you might think to go from four to two or five to two because we saw how much it cost last year for the Carolina Panthers to move up from just pick number nine to pick number one. This was the trade last year that ended up with Bryce Young going to Carolina. The Chicago Bears received the Carolina Panthers 2023 first and second round pick. And then they are also going to get the 2024 first round pick for the Panthers. That's going to be the number one overall pick and a 2025 second round pick as well as one of the top 20 receivers in this league, DJ Moore. So it's going to cost a King Ransom if you're going to go from nine to one. But if you go from four to five, four to one, four to two, or five to two, it's going to be more reasonable. And you're not going to have to give up, in my opinion, multiple, more than two first round picks. So I'll ask you this question. Do you want the Giants to trade up for a quarterback? Because if you're going to stay at number five, I am pretty confident that Drake May and Caleb Williams will be off the board, and I could see the Washington Commanders drafting Jaden Daniels if they do pick before Big Blue. So let me know. Do you want the Giants to trade up for a QB? Type T for trade, type P for pass. Kind of the spot that I'm in right now is the only two quarterbacks that I am willing to trade up for if I'm Big Blue and if I'm Joe Shane is Caleb Williams of USC and Drake May of North Carolina. I'm a big fan of Jaden Daniels. I think he's going to be good in the NFL, but I'm not 100% sure he's going to be good like a Caleb Williams or a Drake May, and I would only want 
Jane Daniels if he's on the clock when the Giants are, whether that's pick four or pick five. But if you can go up and move up to two, whether that's Drake May or Caleb Williams, I would pull the trigger on that deal. Coming up next, I'm going to rank my top five quarterbacks heading into this draft just so I can let you guys know what I'm feeling. And then I'm going to ask you later in the show what your feeling is on this QB class. But first, I got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize. Pick. Shout out to Prize Picks. If you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that promo code CLNS, Prize Picks will match your initial deposit up to $100. Prize Picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America and it is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers with NFL fantasy season long fantasy coming to an end with championship week for a lot of leagues coming up this week. It's time to start playing daily fantasy sports and there's no better spot to do it than with prize picks. All you do is create a lineup of two to six players and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. These are the picks that I'm rocking with this week. I think Justin Jefferson is going to have a huge game against Green Bay as Jair Alexander is suspended. I think Josh Allen is going to have a big game. I think that number it's a little bit low, so I'm going to take more on that. I think Joe Flacco's in store for a revenge game as he's going to be squaring off against his old team, the New York Jets. You can roll with my picks or fade my picks, but if you're going to play Daily Fantasy, do it with prize picks. That's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, and remember to use the promo code CLNS, and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. All that information will be clickable down in the comments and description of today's show. All righty, let's talk about my quarterback draft rankings coming up for the 2024 year. Number one, I have Caleb Williams out of USC. And the person I have at number two is just behind him. I'm splitting hairs at this point. But I truly do believe that Williams is going to come into the NFL and be an immediate superstar. A lot of people like to care, compare him to Mahomes. And I think he has some Mahomes qualities. But I see a little bit more of Aaron Rodgers in his game. He can move around in the pocket. He's got a little bit of an ego, maybe some worrisome stuff off the field. I think he's going to be the for sure thing, and he's my number one quarterback coming in the draft. Number two is Drake May at North Carolina. I know some people are going to say, Marshall, I don't want a quarterback from a basketball school. Marshall, I don't want a quarterback that looks like Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones and Drake May could not be further apart when it comes to the person and more so the player on the field. I bet they have a lot of similar personal uh, traits because I believe they're both hard workers. We know that about DJ. But Drake May can touch every blade of grass with his arm. Whether he's rolling out right, he can throw up 50 yards to his left. He reminds me of Justin Herbert. Big time arm. Underrated athlete. He had a lot of good rushing games at North Carolina. He comes in at number two on my list. Number three is the Heisman Trophy winner, Jaden Daniels at LSU. Jaden Daniels to me is like Lamar Jackson, but the light version. Only thing if I had any concern about Daniels is his frame. Love that he's six foot four. LSU has him listed at 210 pounds. I don't believe he's 210 pounds. I'm sure he'll try to bulk up and put on some water weight and some muscle as it gets closer to the NFL draft combine. But the thing I love the most about him is the progression he had from year one in LSU and Baton Rouge to year two, up to his completion percentage. Every statistical category rose. We did 72% of his passes this year. And this isn't a check down guy. This guy's bombs away, throwing it to Malik Neighbors and all the big time receivers at LSU. He's a big time runner, and I would be very happy if he is a member of the New York Giants. At number four, I have Michael Penix. And I went back and forth on who should be four, but I think it is Penix at this point. I'm extremely excited to see how he's going to match up against the University of Texas coming up this weekend in the college football playoff. Penix. He is the engine of a big-time offense out in Washington. Does he have really good wide receivers on the outside? Absolutely. And you could look at it two ways. He's carried by those guys, but I like to look at it as a sense of he knows how to play with talent and he knows how to get the most out of talented players. There's a lot of QBs that can't say that they could do that. Washington, air raid offense, Texas, bad secondary. If Penix goes and lights it up against them, he might make himself just a top 15 pick in this draft. Last quarterback that we're going to talk about on today's show that I have at number five coming into the 2024 draft is J.J. McCarthy out of Michigan. I'm a big fan of McCarthy. I actually got to cover him in high school, and I interviewed him, got to talk to him. He was a pro's pro. He was mature. He was giving me NFL answers. The guy is going to be good in the NFL. The question is, how good is he going to be? 
I wouldn't be surprised if some people compared him to a guy like Daniel Jones coming into the NFL draft. Really smart, hard worker, can make throws inside the numbers. Not really a guy that makes plays outside of the scripted play. He can create for himself. He can make plays behind the line of scrimmage. But I think he's best in structure. And I like how he throws the ball inside the numbers. I think he's got a really strong arm in that 10 to 25-yard range. And look, the stats are great. He's completing 74% of his passes. I always like to look at completion percentage in college because you know that number is going to come down a little bit in the NFL, but how far down is it going to come? Is it going to go to 68%? I'll take that every day of the week. Interested to see how he's going to match up against Bama and what, big, uh, what Blue and Michigan can do in the college football playoff. We talked about five quarterbacks. Do you want a quarterback? Or do you think it should be somebody else? Maybe it's Joe Wall. I'm a big fan of his. I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer in this league. Who do you want the Giants to draft this year? Pretend you're the GM and let me know. As always, I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate you for tuning in to Giants Now by Chat Sports. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. It means a lot to us. It helps out the channel, helps us grow, and it tells YouTube that you like what you watch, so it'll push this video to other Giants fans. We'll see you later. Go Big Blue.